Sports. WYLN, we're your local network. Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia Counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on WYLN News. I'm Gary Perna. The search continues for a shooter and any others involved in a double shooting in Wilkesbury that happened last night. It happened around 630. Police were called to the parking lot in the 400 block of South Main Street in Wilkesbury. There they found two 19 year old women, both from the Scranton area, who both with gunshot wounds to the back. They were taken to a local hospital for treatment. No possible suspects, motives, names, or the names of the victims or their conditions have been given. We'll, of course, pass along any information we have, and Wilkesbury Police continue their investigation and ask anyone with any information to contact them. Two people from Bear Creek Township face drug charges after police served a search warrant at a home last Thursday in Wright Township. Wright Township Police, along with the Luzerne County Drug Task Force, took 55-year-old Robert Bellman and 37-year-old Renee Zaklak into custody after serving a search warrant at their home in the Whitehaven Poconos development. Their police say over three ounces of cocaine, and a pound of marijuana, oxycodone, and drug paraphernalia were found. Two handguns and a rifle were also seized. Bellman's admitted to using and selling the drugs and was charged with possession with the intent to deliver and possession of a controlled substance. Zaklak also said that she knew of the drugs that they were in the home but did not participate in any transactions. She was charged with possession of a controlled substance. Both posted $20,000 bail each. Fire ripped through a garage last night in Schuylkill County. The fire broke out on Concord Lane in Cass Township, just outside of Pottsville. The fire got a start just after 9 p.m. The garage was a total loss. Fire crews from Cass Township and Minersville, along with the Pottsville Fire Department's RIT team, were called to the scene. No word what caused Tuesday night's fire in Cass Township. A developer from Massachusetts wants to build five distribution buildings in Klein Township. The track of land that's being eyed is on the lofty road. Representatives from Brewster Development Company told township officials Monday about a plan to build the warehouses on the site known as Devil's Mountain, a popular hunting area. If the project becomes reality, warehouses ranging from 500,000 to 1 million square feet will occupy most of the property bound by Interstate 81, the Lofty Road, and the villages of Haddock and Lofty, all in Klein Township near the Klein Delano Line. They would break ground in the spring of 2020 if all goes right. The company also acknowledged that the current road into Lofty may need to be widened or and or improved. Tonight, Hazleton City Council will decide on hiring more cops and fill vacancies on three of the city's boards. Police Chief Jerry Speziali is asking the council to hire four officers to fill the vacancies in the department. The four new hires are replacement positions that the city will need to fill. If they want to keep receiving a federal COPS grant, the city must keep 42 full-time officers on the rolls. The new hires will receive 70% of a base pay, which is just over $65,000. The chief said that the money is budgeted since they are replacement positions. Council will also vote on filling vacancies on the Hazleton City Authority, the Sewer Authority, and the Health Services Commission. 14 people have applied for the HCA seat, which is currently held by Phil Andrews, who is one of those 14. 10 people applied for the Sewer Authority seat and two for the Health Services Commission. Tonight's meeting gets started at 6 p.m. A fifth candidate is planning to run for a seat on Hazleton City Council. Nicole Soto, a Democrat, ran two years ago but came up short. In a post to social media, she outlined her platform saying that she wants to work to come up with alternative ways besides property tax revenue, crack down on owners of blighted property, and work with state agencies and community organizations to make drug treatment programs available. Others who have entered the race for the two seats that are open include Jack Mundy and incumbent Gene Mope, both on the Democrat ticket as well. And on the Republican side, Lauren Sacco has thrown her hat into the ring, and Scott Cahalan will run as an unaffiliated independent candidate. 
A longtime Hazleton resident and business owner has announced that he will seek the Democratic nomination for mayor of Hazleton. Robert Yevak released a statement saying that he will seek the nomination. Yevak said that he has spent his entire life living and working in the city. Evac owns a car detailing business. In his statement, Evac said over the years, Hazleton has been on the decline like many small cities in the area. Evac went, went on to say that Hazleton I grew up loving and knowing is not a distant memory. There is possibility to make our city a vibrant place to live and work. Yevac joins a growing list seeking to unseat current Mayor Jeff Cassatt. He will join on the Democrat ticket Grace Cuzo and Maria Giacchetti. And on the Republican ticket, Cassatt has announced re-election along with current City Councilwoman Allison Barletta. Coming up on WYLN News, a new solicitor has been named in Freeland, but there's still some turmoil. Plus, another person throws his name into the ring for Wilkes-Barre Council. But first, let's take a look at your weather for the next seven days. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, a high of 40. Much needed warmer weather. I can say warmer than 32. Friday, though, mostly uh, showers throughout the day. 50 degrees for high. The weekend, though, not looking too bad. There could be some snow on Sunday. Stay with us. advertising a student like me pitching you the same old ideas but I'm not gonna do that instead I'm gonna tell you what you can do with a Penn State degree you can help anyone go anywhere create and with 20 campuses to choose from you'll always feel at home look Penn State is amazing but your best years are just beginning come find out for yourself I've always been an active guy. One day, I just didn't feel myself. It was my heart. I went to Lehigh Valley Hospital, Pocono. Turns out I had a serious blockage. And within an hour, I was in bypass surgery. My advice, listen to your heart. If it wasn't for Lehigh Valley Heart Institute, I might not be here today. You have one heart and one choice when it comes to the best heart care. The hospitals and heart specialists of the Lehigh Valley Heart Institute. I survived thanks to the Lehigh Valley Heart Institute. Have you been waiting for huge savings on your next truck? The wait is over. Stop into All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram during Ram Truck Month to get the truck you want at the discount you've been waiting for. Get a 2019 Ram 1500 for 0% for 72 months in 90 days until your first payment. Or at least the 2019 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express for $199 a month. The best deals on new trucks are going on right now at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. The borough of Freeland hired a new solicitor at Monday night's council meeting after letting the law firm of Donald Karpovich go last week. Council voted 5-0 to zero to hire the Slusser Law Firm from Hazleton. They voted to advertise for the solicitor's position at a special meeting on February 4th and afterwards decided to hire the Slusser Firm at an executive session in case of an emergency. Councilwoman Kristen Myers also handed in her resignation at Monday's meeting. She filled a vacant seat on council back in January 2018. Her position will now be on this year's primary ballot. A lifelong Wilkes-Barre resident is throwing his hat in the ring for a seat in City Council. 55-year-old John Marconi will join Jessica McClay and Tony Thomas as they have also announced that they will be running as a Democrat candidate for District E. Current Councilman Mike Merritt who represents that district now, says he will not be seeking re-election. District E includes parts of the North End, Parsons, and Miners Mills. Mark Kenny, who has served as a member of the Wilkes-Barre City Parking Authority since 2017, he has graduated from GAR High School and lives in the city his entire life. His goals are to increase the safety and integrity of the city's neighborhoods and also wants to work closely with the Crime Watch groups. Candidates must file a petition by March 12th to get on the primary ballot. 
There is a number of weather cancellations last night, including last night's Luzerne County Council meeting. Now it has been postponed and rescheduled for 601 next Tuesday, February 19th. Council will then select a Democrat to fill the council seat left vacant by Ed Brominski. County Manager Dave Pedry will also present his State of the County report as required by the Hall Rule Charter. Leaders of Pennsylvania state-owned university systems are promising a transformation amidst declining enrollment, rising costs, and lackluster state support. Tuesday's hearing before the House Appropriations Committee comes after enrollment at Pennsylvania State Systems of Higher Education fell below 100,000 for the first time since 2001. The Chancellor warns that the system is close to hitting the ceiling for tuition increased. A small group of Penn State board members is challenging a 2012 university-funded investigation of the Jerry Sandusky sex abuse scandal. In the 109-page report, they say the review of documents found the investigation was tainted by improper contact with the university, the NCAA, and law enforcement. Former FBI Director Louis Fried's probe concluded administrators and football coach Joe Paterno hushed up Sandusky's scandal and to avoid bad publicity. The report calls for a calls for it to be dishonest. Coming up on West Hazelton's News Choice, have you pre-verified? Well, if not, we have some info for you. Also, we head out to the Health and Wellness Center for today's Wellness Wednesday. But first, uh, well, I should say ahead, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Are you ready? Our Julia Wiegand has the last minute tips for you. Stay with us. Minutes away. That's right, you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 19 minutes from Scranton, 15 minutes from Wilkesbury, 12 minutes from Old Forge, 18 minutes from Mountaintop, and 28 minutes from Berwick. Barber Ford in Exeter and Barber Ford in Hazleton. Start your new car search today at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. At Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Catnapper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. the Wellness Wednesday here on WYLN, everyone. And today we are out at the Health and Wellness Center, thanks to our friends at Lehigh Valley Health Network, and we're talking about uh, hand therapy. Now, you know, we maybe don't think about having a specific therapist to worry about our hands and our fingers, but uh, when something goes wrong, we notice it right away because we use them all the time. And Lauren's here to talk about some of the therapies that are offered, and right now we kind of see a little bit of an increase of people who need some extra therapy on their hands because of some falling that goes on. Yes, um, we do see um, a rise of wrist fractures because of the ice and the snow um, that people fall, they put their hands out to brace their fall and they can end up with a wrist fracture. So one thing I would say to um, patients out there is be careful when you're out, mm -hmm. black ice, make sure you're salting your own driveways um, just to keep yourself safe and to prevent those um, injuries from happening. 
and we see I know I, a couple of years ago I fell and I went you know put the hands out and, and kind of braced myself and I felt you know pain luckily I didn't fracture anything or problem but you feel it because you, you're really bending that and that's not good yes so your wrist is made up of several bones and um, some of it is your carpal bones and there's several in there and they're tiny so not only your forearm bones mm -hmm. but also the wrist bones then your hand bones so any of those little bones can break and you feel it right away and they can jam and they can there's little ligaments that can tear so there's a lot going on in just a little amount of space mm -hmm. so you got to be careful and something else uh, when we're talking about uh, being out and, and, and using our hands a lot, and we do it all the time, mm -hmm. we're on our phones, we're texting, we're typing on a computer, and that puts a lot of strain. People don't realize it right away. Yes, so um, I think a lot of people are familiar with carpal tunnel syndrome, um, a lot of keyboard use. Um, so signs and symptoms of that are like numbness and tingling that you would feel primarily in your thumb and your first two fingers. Um, uh, falling asleep or waking up, you have this numbness and tingling in your hands, and um, it's painful, mainly um, at night, because that's when a lot of swelling goes on when you're relaxing. And then um, a couple of things to be aware of when you're sleeping is your hand position. Some people tend to bend at their wrist or tight sleep with their elbows underneath them, and uh, they don't realize it because we're sleeping. We don't know how we right. how we look. So um, if you have a partner, um, maybe they can help you know problem solve with you, or you know just try and be mindful of it yourself. Like if you're having these symptoms, try and you know pillows, prop pillows up, give some space between your body and your arms, and don't sleep with your arms above your head because um, there's a lot of nerves that go through, start from your neck down to your fingertips. Okay. Well, a lot of a good tips, and I'm one of those. I always sleep my hand up there. I always wake up the next morning with it. Uh, but somebody um, out there who's saying, you know, man, I'm having a lot of uh, problems. I type a lot during the day. Uh, I could feel this at night. Uh, what are the first steps they should do before they come in and see you? Um, so things that you can try on your own are taking, you know, after a half hour of like like seriously typing at your desk, taking a break, stretching your hands out, um, making sure you're not pressing down on the keyboard. Or your desk on your wrist that puts a lot of pressure on your carpal tunnel um, if the symptoms don't go away definitely see your primary care doctor um, that way they can get referrals and then you can go see um, a hand therapist or an occupational therapist and uh, we can go from there and get you better All right, wonderful so a lot going on so you don't think of it right away but uh, if you're having some pains your feelings uh, some issues in your hands your fingers get to your doctor and they can hopefully get you over here to the health and wellness center and, and see a therapist to get all those problems worked out for you. Thanks for joining us here on Wellness Wednesday. We'll see you next time here on WYLN. Hi, I had a very minor uh, fender bender tonight in an unreasonably narrow fast food drive through lane. Don't worry, I have everything handled. I already spoke to our Allstate agent, and I know that we have accident forgiveness, which is so smart on your guys' part. Like, the fact that they'll Four just... weeks without the car. Okay, yep, good night. With accident forgiveness, your rates won't go up just because of an accident. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. The Falvella Law Firm, located at 314 Main Street, Suite A in Cunningham, offers help with car and truck accidents, wills, powers of attorney, and estates. With a small team of attorneys, they work directly with each and every client, serving all of Northeastern Pennsylvania, and they are proud to offer legal services that make a real difference to you. Call them at 570-788-4191 today. Blaze Alexander Family Dealerships is very proud to become a part of the Hazleton area. Come see us in Hazel Township or visit us online at blazehazelton.com. There's Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac, and Mazda. Plus, a huge inventory of the finest quality pre-owned vehicles available, all with the Blaze Alexander lowest price guarantee. We have a long-held reputation for low prices, great selection, and top-notch service. Blaze Alexander Family Dealerships in Hazleton. We're taking the deals the other guys won't. Real IDs, which will allow citizens to board a commercial flight or visit a secure federal building, will be available to Pennsylvania residents in March. 
Customers can pre-verify for the IDs at any Penn driver's license centers. They must bring proof of identification by using either a valid U.S. passport or birth certificate, a social security card, and two proofs of current physical address, which can include a current driver's license, current vehicle registration, insurance card, or utility bill. There is a one-time fee of $30 plus a renewal fee of $30.50 for a four-year non-commercial license. Once real ID are available in March, they will be sent through the mail. For more information, you can visit the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation's website, which are listed on your screen. Love is in the air, and local businesses are gearing up for the big holiday rush. Many of them out today. WYLN's Julie Wiegand stopped by Smith's Floral Company in West Hazleton and has their Valentine's Day rush. Valentine's Day, a day for love and last-minute gift shopping. Smith's Floral Company in West Hazleton handles the holiday rush by prepping weeks in advance. Ah, uh, well, it's typically last minute, so it's usually like the 12th, 13th, and 14th is when we get super busy. Um, so we've been prepping, you know, in the weeks ahead, trying to get everything ready. And in the last few days, getting our thousands of roses in and all other types of flowers in and prepped and ready for the rush. Jennifer Barnasevich's favorite part each year is the guys that come in to buy flowers for their special someone. The Valentine's Day? Yeah. Uh, I love the guys that come in because you can joke around with them and you, know, you can have some fun and they're really open to suggestions and other items that we might have as well. Smith's Floral will still be offering delivery services tomorrow for those last minute shoppers. Just the time framing gets a little more of a crunch as you know as the day wears on but otherwise or we're open till six o'clock tomorrow night as well. One thing I would want to say is to you know, shop local and shop small and support your, your local flower shops. You can give this local flower shop a call for your Valentine's Day needs at 570-454-7761. Reporting in West Hazleton for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. Good luck to all those procrastinators out there getting those flowers. That's the news. Remember, you can always get news updates on the WYLN News Facebook page and stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN TV. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. I've always been an active guy. One day, I just didn't feel myself. It was my heart. I went to Lehigh Valley Hospital Pocono. Turns out I had a serious blockage. And within an hour, I was in bypass surgery. My advice, listen to your heart. If it wasn't for Lehigh Valley Heart Institute, I might not be here today. You have one heart and one choice when it comes to the best heart care. The hospitals and heart specialists of the Lehigh Valley Heart Institute. I survived thanks to the Lehigh Valley Heart Institute. Ralph M. Cameron, specializing in quality and affordable construction services for residential, commercial, and industrial. Licensed and insured. Call 570-401-0654 today for all your construction needs. Stop in at Two Italian Guys Pizzeria for the best pizza in town. Serving a large variety of pizza, stromboli, and so much more. Open till 3 a.m. Take out or eat in. Delivery available. Call 570-459-2783.
watching Monolith City's Choice. For news.